Good evening to you. First tonight, former Tulsa police officer Shannon Kepler is spending his first day in jail. A jury convicted him of manslaughter late last night after three previous mistrials. They recommended he spend 15 years in prison for shooting and killing his daughter's boyfriend, Jeremy Lake, back in 2014. Two Works for You reporter Micah Hatfield joins us outside of where Kepler is being housed and authorities plan to make special considerations for his safety. Because Shannon Kepler is a former police officer, he's considered a high risk inmate. The jail has a certain protocol for people that fall under that category. They're kept away from the general population for their safety. Jeremy Lake's family is just glad there's some conclusion in this case. It is partial closure that finally this is resolved and we don't have to do this anymore and everything will go on. Lake's father says the outcome shows people of all walks of life can get justice. In this case, justice his family and son deserved. On the other side, cries heard from Kepler's family. Defense attorney Richard O'Carroll also not pleased with the outcome, saying if they take enough shots at you, they're going to hit you. My heart goes out to the Kepler family uh, and I just don't feel like the process was fair in, in the final analysis. It's simply a prosecution for somebody who killed another human being. O'Carroll says the state made the case about race, calling it all very political. With Shannon the scapegoat, there are more black African Americans per capita in the state of Oklahoma and any state in the union. And this is going to be the band-aid they put on top of it. It's a sham. Anybody who's dealt with Mr. O'Carroll totally understands everything that comes out of his mouth. I, it, it's unpredictable. No matter what, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna look at the sun and he's going to say that's not the sun that's up in the sky. And he's going to tell you that the sky is uh, gray when the sky is blue. Kuntzweiler says the fact that his office tried this case four times to get a verdict for Jeremy Lake's family shows they are going to pursue justice. The defense says they plan to file an appeal. In downtown Micah Hatfield, two works for you. Meanwhile, Kepler's formal sentencing is on November 20th. He will be kept in the Tulsa County Jail until then.